Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you are fine. I am teacher Shamila Nayar from SK Pendidikan Has Jalan Pil Kuala Lumpur. And to sign my name SL. Before I tell you what I am going to teach today, I have two reminders. First, for those who are using hearing aids, please check on your aid. Is the battery good? And don't forget to switch it on. Next. Everyone, please get your notebook ready with you as well as your SEE book. Not forgetting your stationery. Now, I would like to do a simple finger exercise with you. Follow me. Intertwine your fingers and stretch. Move it front. Move it up. Move it down. To your right and to your left. We can do this few more times. Done? Very good. Thank you for following me. Now, let's see what are we going to learn today. By end of this lesson, you should be able to read the map for directions and write simple guided directions based on the given map. Aha! So, now you should know what is the topic for today. Direction. What is direction? It is a way or guidance to do something. And today, I am going to use a road map for direction. Those days when we don't have this technology for directions, road map is used to guide the way. Although it was not that convenient, but it was fun to use this map because of the mistakes we make while reading the map and reach at the wrong place. I am unsure if you have seen a road map. So, let me show you an example of a road map. This road map is taken from my friend's wedding card. Yes, we had this last time. 
but nowadays I doubt it. It's okay, you can continue discussing about this with your parents later. I am sure they will know. Now, we shall start our lesson. I have divided our lesson to three parts for today. The first part is to revise the vocabularies that we will be using today. I will show you the vocabularies and you can take a picture of it for you to revise later. Ready? Alright, the first word here. Now, you follow me to sign. First, you sign go and then straight. You got it? Good try. Go straight. The next word is we have two. See here. First, we must sign the word turn. T U R N. Turn. Then the word right or left. So it will be turn right or turn left. Alright, sign the word right using your right hand towards your right hand and the word left towards your left hand. Don't mix them. The third word is here. And there are two words. Just like earlier, we sign on and then your and then right or left. So the signing will be on your right or on your left. Easy. Now this. Who knows how to sign this? Yes, correct. See me signing. Round the board. Round the board. You have seen this outside there, right? Yes, they will have a few exits like this. So, how to sign the exits? Ha, we have to number the exits. Yes, one, two, three. First, from where you are. Alright, from where you are, the first left exit will be number one. Round the board, the first left, number one. Then two, then three, and so on. And if we are taking this exit, we shall say, take the first exit. If we are taking the second exit, we shall say, take the second exit. If it's the third, then you say, the third exit. You follow the numbers. 
The fifth word is here. Next to the. You got it? Again, okay? Next, next to the. Alright? This is the same meaning with beside. It could be here or here. Alright? Next to the is the same meaning with beside. And the last word is opposite. Yes, opposite. So all these words are very important in writing or telling directions based on the map. Remember them and we can go to the second part. In the second part, we are going to learn to read the map for directions. First, we draw the route from the starting point until the destination means where we want to go then we can start ready so shall we read it together i know you are waiting for that Make sure you read as how you drew the route. You can use all the words I thought to describe the route, to explain the route. Example 1. This is a map in a way. School. The places in the school are labeled, named. Let's see how to go from the school gate to the toilet. Okay, school gate to the toilet. First, Draw the route. Then describe from the starting point until the destination. Remember to start from the starting point. For this map here, what is the Starting point? Yes, the school gate. You see, I have circled it. So, we say from the school gate. And then, what is the direction? Yes, go straight. We can continue the sentence by adding the next direction, which is turn left or right. Yes, turn right. After turning right, we are going straight. Correct? And it's repeating. So, we can add the word what? Yeah. Keep going straight. Alright? Keep going straight. Then, you mention where to turn. Right or left? Yes, left. And also, 
we can tell what are we passing by on our right or left. Here, the classes are on the right. Correct? So, we say you will pass by four classes on your right. After this, we are approaching the destination, right? So, we end with the location of the destination. And this will be the writing. Pupils, this is a very simple description. You see, there are no much turns and no roundabouts. But I am not going to end here. Now, I will give you some questions and you have to answer. Ready? Let's start. Look at this map. Now, you tell me how will you go from class 3P to the canteen? I shall wait for your answer. Done? Good! Here is the answer. Please compare your answer with mine. Then you do the correction if needed. Finish? Very good! Okay now, we are done with the easy one. Now, I will discuss different type of question and we are doing the third part, writing. So, please prepare your pencil and book. Okay, first, see the map here. Now, let's do the first one together. Then, you do the next one. So, the question is, write the direction from library to the shop. Okay, you got it? Good. First, Check the starting point and the destination. Very good. So, circle it. Then, draw the route. Make sure it is correct. And now, start writing. Just like earlier, we write from the library, go straight until you reach the roundabout. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Very good. Third exit. Go straight and turn left. Okay? Left. Then, Take the first right. The shop will be on your right. Write your answers, then compare with mine. Here is my answer. I will read it for you. From the library, go straight until you reach the roundabout. 
at the roundabout. Take the third exit. Go straight and turn left. Then take the first right. The shop will be on your right. Pupils, this is not the only answer. I believe there are many of you who are able to write excellent answers. You may add these sentences or words in your answers as well. You see, if there is a road name provided, for example here, Jalan Baru and Jalan Ria, then you can write like this. Go straight along. A L O N G along. Jalan Ria. Add the word along if you have to use the road. Second example is take the first exit into Jalan Baru. Add the word into if you are entering the road. I N T O into. It's okay if you have to spell it in Bahasa Malaysia. But make sure the spelling is in capital. If you use small case, it will be wrong. Only the starting must be capital. So, are we good now? I hope we are. Remember all the words and the tips I just shared with you. Please don't forget to write all of this in your book. Wow, that's a long one. Wait, we are not done yet. I will not let you go yet. I have some questions for you to answer before I say goodbye. Wait, I haven't said goodbye. Look at the map here. Now, write the directions from... There are three, yeah? Have three. You see properly. The first one. Hospital to police station. The second one. Bakery to bank. The third one. School to park. I encourage you to discuss this answer with your parents, siblings, friends, or teachers. Good luck, pupils! With this, we have come to the end of our lesson for today. I hope today's lesson had improved your ability in reading map and writing directions. Do more practices, pupils. So, till we meet again, stay safe and take care. Bye!